Hi everyone, this is Jeff from Excel with Grace Sports Specific Yoga. What I'm going to go over in this video is what makes sports specific yoga different. So there are three main things that I think make sports specific yoga different. When developing a yoga practice for an athlete or a team, we look at the specific biomechanics of a sport. Two, Injury prevention. What are the common injuries that athletes suffer from in that sport and how do we prevent them? And three, which could be the most important of them all, is to ensure that the yoga practice is in line with the athlete or team's main training plan and periodization. So biomechanics. I'm going to take swimming as our example. When you look at freestyle and backstroke, it's really important for athletes to have a great cross-body connection, both strength-wise and awareness. So when we talk about a cross-body connection, we're talking about having a connection from the fingers of one hand all the way through the body, through the core, to the toes of the opposite leg. It is so important for an athlete who is specializing in freestyle and backstroke to have that connection in the way of strength and coordination for developing propulsion and two, an awareness to be able to adjust stroke technique. Common injuries. Once again, I'm gonna use swimming as our example. When we look at common injuries in swimming, one of the, the biggest is shoulder issues. So when looking at the shoulder, a lot of people might say that, you know, swimmers have tight shoulders from doing so much upper body work. And a lot of times there's a typical swimmer posture of internal rotation because of overdevelopment of some of those areas within the shoulder and chest. Now, can that be a cause of some shoulder issues? Absolutely. So we, how we want to adjust there is in posture and scapular awareness and control. But one of the misunderstandings that come when looking at shoulder issues with some people is that they think because they're stiff and tight in the shoulders and chest, that it's really important to just get as much flexibility as possible within the shoulders. But one of the biggest reasons swimmers suffer from shoulder injuries is that they're hypermobile within the shoulder joint, meaning that they have too much mobility within the joint. So when looking at developing a yoga practice for swimmers, it's so important that when you're looking at building range of motion, that you're also developing stability within the joint at the same time. Because if you're not doing that, you're just going to accentuate some of that hypermobility within different athletes' shoulders. Now, three, periodization of an athlete or team's training. Yoga is going to be a complement to what an athlete's doing. So there's always got to be the consideration of what is going on, how an athlete is being trained, what areas are being worked, what areas are being rested when developing a yoga program and deciding what athletes are gonna do within that yoga program. So I'm just gonna take a simple example of a taper. So a taper phase being a phase where you wanna have complete recovery and restoration. So obviously when looking at that, if we're not taking that into consideration and we're just doing a yoga program, we, we may be stressing the body in ways that we don't want to, that is gonna put an athlete in a position that's gonna really sacrifice or potentially um, overtax them during that restoration period, during that taper period. So when looking at how you're going to use a yoga practice at that time, you really need to be focused on 
how can we get the body to completely relax and release? So you may go into doing some more restorative poses, poses that aren't going to tax the swimmers energetically. Also, the practice might involve a lot more breathing where you can focus on being more in the moment and understanding how to control anxiety, which a lot of athletes suffer from when they're going into different performances, or I shouldn't say suffer, but experience before they go into performances, which can keep them from performing at their best. So this is a perfect time within a yoga practice to learn different strategies on how to deal with different aspects or different mental skills such as that. So those are the three reasons that I think sport specific yoga is different. Specific biomechanics and really functional strength, functional mobility. Two, injury prevention, truly understanding what causes different injuries and how to prevent them in a specific sport. And three, understanding that the yoga practice has to complement the main core training plan and periodization that an athlete has.